Well, it's Diabetes Awareness Month, and tomorrow is World Diabetes Day, and it feels like a perfect time to introduce you to Chiwana's Kendall Dotson. Kendall's been playing soccer her whole life, been on varsity since her freshman year at Chiwana, but six years ago, at age 11, her life changed forever. <laughs> Kendall Dotson is a defender for the MCC champion Riverhawks. The way the senior plays, you never realize what she endures just to be on the field until she takes a breather. You have to be very careful when you play sports with uh, type 1 diabetes just so that your blood sugar doesn't go too low or too high. Kendall has been managing her blood sugar levels for six years now, so it's become a habit. But when she was first diagnosed with juvenile type 1 diabetes at age 11, her and her family didn't know the first thing about treating the disease. It was a really big learning curve and it was really hard for like my parents to kind of like hear that news. Our initial reaction is that her future just shrunk a little bit. It's tough for any parent to hear that their child's life is changed forever. Unlike type 2, type 1 isn't curable. Thankfully, the Dodsons quickly realized Kendall wasn't backing down. There were very few times that she actually um, kind of let her or let us help her administer her insulin and do things like that because she was always just very on top of it. I think I kind of realized like I can control my blood sugars and I can keep myself healthy and like nothing's really going to stop me. Oh, Playing sports with diabetes isn't impossible. It just takes an extra level of commitment to your nutrition and preparation. Before I eat uh, meals, I have to test my blood sugar and then I just prick my finger. I just put it on the strip. It's pretty easy. Right now, I am higher than what my um, phone was actually saying. I'm 222. Yeah. So I am going to take some insulin and I need to make sure I take into account like how many carbs I'm going to be eating with my lunch. I just take it with my little thing. I just take insulin shots. No matter how diligent Kendall stays with her sugars and carbs intake, there are bad days, scary days. I had worked out really hard one day and came home, ate a low carb lunch, and I just remember feeling so tired. So, you know, I just went on the couch to go take a nap and um, my blood sugars went super low and I ended up having seizures from my low blood sugar. Sarah had to call the paramedics and they had to come give her a glucose immediately. And you're, you're really talking about the difference in hours of, of life and death. The Dotsons prove that to overcome type 1 diabetes or any chronic disease, you must find strength in each other. I can't even imagine what our life would be like or how our path down this road um, would be so much different with, without all the hard work and knowledge and love that Sarah has shown for Kendall throughout this process. They just want to keep me alive. So, yeah, without my parents, I don't know where I'd be. I'd be a, I'd be a goner. They're, they help me with so much. It's hard not to smile and feel at ease around Kendall. She has that spirit. She's a fighter. And that makes her future brighter by the minute. You can be successful with type 1 and you can do whatever you want to do as long as you just take care of yourself and, you know, manage your diabetes. She's just 17 and she's doing all that managing all by herself as her mm -hmm. parents said. Something I know as 17 I would never be able to do. <laughs> yeah. so, that's Good just for her. Awesome. Yeah. yeah.